Hi, this is Brian Garcia, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Eureka, California, here to talk to you about a potent Pacific storm heading our way. So what's coming over the next few days with this storm? Well, it'll bring strong winds across Northwest California, especially across the coastal areas. Coastal ridges will be especially hard hit with wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and some isolated peaks potentially gusting as high as 80 miles per hour. Rain will also be a factor with the system. Several inches of rain are expected across Northwest California with some areas approaching a foot of rain falling over the course of the next five days. With all the rain, comes concerns for localized flooding as well as the main stem rivers coming up. We'll be watching that over the coming days as well. With all this energy out to sea, we'll be looking at high surf along the area beaches. Surf heights are likely to be in the 18 to 23 foot range. So what's causing all this activity? Well, a rather unimpressive area of low pressure is still developing across the eastern Pacific. As this area of low pressure develops, it will move towards the east and off into the Pacific Northwest. As it lifts into the Pacific Northwest, Wednesday into Thursday, it will drag a cold front as well as a postfrontal trough across Northwest California, bringing us all the wind, rain, river rises, and high surf. So what should we plan for with all this stormy weather heading our way? Well, with the wind, we'll definitely have to plan for some power outages and down trees. Down trees could block roadways, down trees also knock down power lines. Make sure that you're prepared to go a few hours, if not a couple days, without power in your area. During the heaviest times of rain, we could be looking at some localized flooding over area roads in low-lying areas such as yards, could look at backed up storm drains. All these things are possibilities. So make sure you pay attention and know where you live and know how to get around areas that are flooded. Remember, turn around, don't drown. With all the rain working its way into the river basins, we'll be looking at potentially reaching flood stage in some area rivers by Thursday. That's something we'll have to watch. So if you live in an area that's susceptible to river flooding, make sure you keep an eye on our forecast. And with all the wave activity out at the beach, we'll be looking at coastal erosion and possible seawater over roads that are directly adjacent to the beach. One that comes to mind, of course, is 101, just south of the main part of Crescent City. During the highest part of the tides and the highest part of the surf, we could see some of that seawater wash up over the road. So remember to prepare now. We've got a potent Pacific storm heading our way. Be sure to check our forecast regularly and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Again, this is Brian Garcia, meteorologist with the National Weather Service. Thanks for watching.